Imagine a world where the stars and stripes never waved in the warm Pacific breeze of the Philippine Islands. Imagine a history where the course of an entire nation took a dramatically different turn. This isn't a figment of mere fantasy, but a legitimate historical crossroad. What if the United States had not acquired the Philippines? At the dawn of the 20th century, the Treaty of Paris, inked in 1898, concluded the Spanish-American War, transferring the Philippines from Spanish to American hands for $20 million. This move, steeped in imperial ambition, would shape the destinies of both the United States and the Philippines in ways both profound and contentious. But let's delve into an alternate route, a route where this acquisition never took place. Firstly, without the United States acquisition, the Philippines might have followed a trajectory similar to its Southeast Asian neighbors, grappling with its identity and politics whilst under the lingering shadows of European colonialism. The absence of American influence could have prolonged Spain's faltering grip on the islands, or perhaps paved the way for another colonial power, like Germany or Japan, to step in. This alternate stew of colonial interests would have significantly altered the socio-political fabric of the Philippines, potentially delaying its journey towards independence and reshaping its national identity in unpredictable ways. The ripple effects of this non-acquisition would also reverberate through the halls of American history. The United States, having bypassed this avenue of imperialism, might have taken a more isolationist stance in the early 20th century. Without the Philippines acting as a gateway to Asia, the fervor for Pacific expansion would dampen, possibly altering the trajectory of American foreign policy and its role on the global stage during critical moments such as both World Wars and the Cold War. Furthermore, the humanitarian costs of the Philippine-American War, which erupted in 1899 as a direct consequence of U.S. acquisition and resulted in hundreds of thousands of Filipino casualties, would have been avoided. The scars of this conflict and the subsequent American colonial rule have left indelible marks on the Filipino psyche, influencing perceptions of the U.S. that persist to this day. The absence of such a bloody conflict would undoubtedly have led to a vastly different Philippines-U.S. relationship, one perhaps characterized by partnership formed on equal footing rather than historical grievance. Economically, the change would have been profound for both nations. The U.S. would have missed out on a strategic base for trade in Asia, potentially ceding economic influence in the region to other powers. For the Philippines, freed from the shackles of American economic policies and priorities, the path to developing its natural resources and local industries could have been starkly different, potentially fostering a more self-sustained and less dependent economy. Culturally, the non-acquisition would mean that the deep, sometimes paradoxical ties that bind Filipino and American lives would be fundamentally different. The exchange of language, education, and arts that flourished under American colonial rule has deeply impacted Filipino society. While it's speculative to imagine the exact outcomes, it's clear that without these influences, the cultural landscape in the Philippines would be distinct, perhaps preserving more indigenous and Spanish influences or integrating those from other colonial powers. In weaving through this alternate history, we find ourselves confronted with a poignant truth. The intricate web of history cannot be unraveled without understanding the profound implications of imperial ambitions. The U.S. acquisition of the Philippines was a turning point that not only shaped the destinies of these nations, but also reflected larger themes of power, resistance, and identity that echo through the annals of history. While we can never truly know how the tapestry of history would look, if the thread of the Philippines' acquisition were pulled, examining these what-ifs enables us to appreciate the complexity of our past and the nuanced ways in which historical events continue to shape our present and future. It serves as a reminder that history is not just a series of dates and facts, but a living, breathing entity that holds within it the stories of countless lives and endless possibilities.